So, uh, I had a conversation uh, when I was having the uh, the interview with Doran. I specifically asked about a situation that happened with his father uh, regarding Doran's sister, um, where she was being married and then she ran out of the church and then um, she came back in because she didn't want to get married. And I asked him, are there times where the Roma culture conflicts heavily with the local culture and is there a push for those two things to balance out? Where Where is the middle ground? There is a whole book about this, edited by Walter Byrow. It's called Gypsy Law, and it's a series of essays about the conflict between populations who have their own internal laws versus national federal law. It focused on Romani Americans, because we have something called a Chris. Um, but you could easily bring in Orthodox Jews, Amish people, mm -hmm. Native Americans, Muslims. A lot of populations have their own judicial system within the community. For us, arranged marriages are legal the American government they're not legal early teen marriages are not legal fortune telling in a lot of places is not legal but it's illegal for us so we're breaking the law is this a kind of reverse discrimination you might interpret it like that and that's what it, it that's what it seemed to me if <clears throat> and through my research um, before the establishment of this specific government, um, the Roma people were there, living, existing. So they create this government with these new laws, and all of a sudden the Roma community are criminals. Mm -hmm. uh, is that not discrimination? Uh, and and I, I find it interesting, uh, interesting narrative because I ask myself, is there on the horizon a civil rights movement in Europe for the Roma community, uh, similar to what we had in the United States. Kind of. No. Problem with us is that we find it really hard to work together. It, internally, as? Internally. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of jealousy and resentment. And it's, we call it our disease, really. Um, if somebody gets ahead, Dorn, he pointed this out to me as well. Somebody will immediately criticize rather than say, well done, we'll support you. No. Um, we got to get over that. Nikolai Georgi, you heard his name when yeah, you were there. I'm he died recently. But, um, he became very prominent in the ERC. The OSCE and so on. His main detractors were other Roma, mm -hmm. not the white racists. We tried for years to get one representative on the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Council. We tried and tried and tried. We had to threaten a lawsuit. We picketed in concentration camps, outfits yeah. up and down with banners and stuff. Finally, I think it was uh, Reagan appointed the first Romani American man, William Duna. Immediately, the White House got a telegram from a guy in Boston, a Romani man. Why did you appoint him? I would have been a much better representative guy could barely read and write. Rather than saying congratulations, you did the right thing, appointing a Romani man, it was a criticism. Hmm. So what do you think needs to be done uh, to progress beyond that? Um, Education. We have to be educated about ourselves. Uh, about each individual community or about yeah. your... Well, 
we are all Romani people that is to say we all share the ultimate origin but the various the history is complicated but we came together as a people in Anatolia and then started to cross over into Europe not all at once but over a period of time going off in different directions mm. so let's say an early group crossed over and made its way all the way down into Spain another group crossed over a bit later on and went straight up north to Scandinavia now they're separated by hundreds of miles and they've been separated for hundreds of years and are very different. They share a lot, but what they picked up along the way is very different. Mm. So now they're going to say, well, we're the real gypsies. They're not the real gypsies. Mm. We're the real gypsies. And those people are saying the same thing about them. They don't know that we all started out in the same place. If that could be impressed upon different Romani populations, we'd be a big voice with a, a sense of being one. Mm -hmm. We absolutely don't have that. We are defined by what we're not. We're defined by negatives rather than by positives. So if we had a better understanding of who we really were, that would be good from the non-Romani side, most non-Romani people don't know what Romani history is. They are full of the Hollywood gypsy stereotype. They don't realize that much of the problem that Roma face today, they created. And that's something you could ask these racists. Say, don't you think you had a part in this? How do you equate stealing a chicken with 550 years of slavery and a holocaust? Mm. I think we're not comparing yeah. two kinds of crime. Apples and oranges. <laughs>